I've been here since I was 15 years old, so probably 42 years now. This is the grower's selling area and the buyers come to us specifically to buy from uh, the farmers themselves. Well, we got here about five minutes after two and uh, actually we've been quite busy right up until about, about 7.30. Ontario is a good place to grow things. Uh, you can't beat Ontario and this is the place to come to sell it. The farmers market is is 98 percent Ontario. The purpose of the exercise is to get Ontario product out to the consumer. The best Ontario product possible from Ontario farms. The people are finally realizing that if they can buy it fresh and if they can buy it local they're better off. The market in Toronto is pretty uh, ethnic diverse and uh, we're catering to that. So as a result, we're growing more and more um, cilantro and uh, more ethnic uh, vegetable varieties. I would say 70% of my clientele is within the city of Toronto. Uh, the other 30% uh, could be from uh, Kitchener, uh, Detroit, uh, as far as Greenland. I grow uh, radishes, spinach, leeks, coriander, beets, uh, some of the herbs. Well, the buyers, yeah, you know, you see them every day, right? You know, like uh, one, one guy said, probably I see you more than uh, see my family, you know, so that's, you know, everybody here. We grow all the greens. Cows, cow, Swiss chard, dandelion, uh, kale, green kale, red kale, black kale. Well, we start from here, like, you know, all the cows will be picked up here, so it's very important because this market, we need it. If the terminal didn't exist, well, that would be a, a nightmare. I would have to deliver everything directly to stores, which would eat up a lot of time, on, especially with the highway traffic the way it is today. I wouldn't want to imagine that kind of work. It's the second home. The market is the second home here. Now, like I, I know so many people, you know, as far as stories go, too many to mention and not enough time to talk about it. <laughs>